We are in Tbilisi, Georgia, a place well known for its wine, mineral water, which has been defined the balcony of Europe for its geographical position. We just landed in Tbilisi and we thought that the best way to familiarize with the area was to take one of the famous walking tours. And Anna, our guide, explained us what Tbilisi actually stands for. Tbilisi means warm, so Tbilisi is a warm city and it is really warm because in many neighborhoods of uh, the city you can have salt for water in your hot water tub for free, uh, you don't have to pay for the boiler, it's very good for your skin, for your hair. Behind me there is the Narikara Fortress which is one of the main symbols of the city. This one here is the Sioni Cathedral. Uh, it's probably one of the most important ones here. It's an Orthodox church, but actually just uh, over there, there is a Catholic church, over there a mosque, and just behind there is an Armenian church. All of these testimony, the tolerance that this country and these people had for centuries. The atmosphere inside is very typical. To guess what it is, look at the size of the windows. You don't see much inside. Uh, unless uh, after 10 minutes you get used to the amount of light and then you can notice the walls are covered with murals. Georgians are really religious and visiting a church is a touching experience. Women cover their heads with scarves in a similar way as my grandmother did in Italy. eating a piece of bread just made literally out of the oven with beans inside very nice so this is a kachapuri which is like the bread with the with cheese traditional we're going to try chimicali we are walking in one of the less famous neighborhood of uh, Tbilisi on the other side from the old town where the foreigners, the European, the Germans, the Russian lived uh, back in the days. So what happened is that they came here and they started living on the left side of the river. So what happened is that they came to Georgia and apparently Georgians, they needed more people here in the country and like Germans were perfect solution for that. They are like pragmatic, we are not, we are very chaotic and they started living on this part. And what happened is that in 100 years they grow very big and uh, they call themselves New Tiflis. And what happened is that after 20 years they called the whole region Tiflis. If something happens here in Georgia on time, it's because of these people who are living on this side of the river. Uh, do you know what does GMT means? Georgian maybe time. These are baths, they're very popular here. And we are actually going to try one. Follow me. I just finished to have a massage done by a very strong and powerful woman. It's a mystic experience. And this big man full of hair scrubbing like crazy. We left Tbilisi and we're now driving towards the countryside. The plan for today is to go south to visit some of the historical sites. We are armed with this map, so it's kind of very 20th century. We drove for a couple of hours and actually we are now entering the mountains. Uh, you can see the peak uh, with the snow behind us. Probably we have another couple of hours to Kervasi Fortress, which is our main stop. And en route, we will stop at the Lake Paravani. We just stopped by this unconventional bridge. We are at the Kertvisi Castle and it's a beautiful ruin and it's impressive there's no one around us. 
This is an imposing castle dominating the valley. It is pretty old, it's probably more than 2,000 years at this site, although these kind of walls are probably dating from the medieval period. Here we are in Barzio, it's a massive cave city dated in the ancient times and it's very similar to Cappadocia in Turkey actually, it's, it's really astonishing. We just went into the church and then into the tunnel inside the mountains and came up up here. This is the Church of the Assumption and it's full of beautiful paintings. So Georgia was the second Christian kingdom after Armenia. And Christianity was always very important for the identity of the country, especially to deal with very powerful neighbors like the Persians, the Byzantine Empire, the Turks, and more recently the Russians. What you can see is that Georgia is truly a country across Europe and Asia. This is the beautiful castle of Ananauri, which is located at the beginning of the Georgian military highway, which is a route that crosses through the Caucasus and connects Georgia with Russia. With Mesheta we finish our four days trip in Georgia. So if you like our video please subscribe below and thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it and any comments, any questions, anything just write below and we'll be more than happy to reply to you.